It's time to meet Carson Cash and also his mother, Chelsea Bolger of St. Catharines. Welcome to the program. Hi, thank you. Carson, how are you doing today? Uh-huh. Yeah, doing, doing great? Well, doing great. Carson, okay. can you explain to me why you have all of those bags of cans and boxes of bottles stacked up behind you? We're doing the footsteps for family's walkathon. We participate every year. We have for the last eight years. It's for Ronald McDonald House. Um, and we have been top fundraisers for the last seven years running. Um, but this year with uh, COVID being different, um, we usually host a large garage sale event every year. Um, and unfortunately with social distancing and we were just kind of waiting out to see how things would pan out. Um, <clears throat> this yep. year we decided to do a bottle drive and yep. it's been really successful. We've had a lot of community support, so we're she so grateful. Does. <laughs> when did you start collecting the cans and bottles? We collect, started collecting last week. Uh, we reached out to the standard. Um, one of the writers there, reporters there, um, have always supported us and written an article to um, help promote our event, which has been so helpful. The community always comes through for us, which is amazing. And uh, yeah, we've collected probably over 5,000 cans already. I know garage sales are now allowed, but you didn't know at the time whether or not it was going to be able to be held. Absolutely, and it would have limited yeah. the amount of people that we could have had at, per, at certain what? times. Um, and also collecting items from the community, um, you know, just a lot of COVID safety issues, I suppose you'd say. Um, so we just chose to stick with bottles and cans this year. We are hoping that lots of people might have some left over after being in quarantine um, for so many months. Um, so we've just been really fortunate. This cause is near and dear to your heart because hey. when Carson Cash was born, he had a congenital hydrocephalus, which is water on the brain, yeah. surgeries at McMaster. You and your husband stayed at Ronald McDonald House? Yes, we did. So when Carson was born um, at four weeks, he needed his first brain surgery. Um, unfortunately, the first was unsuccessful. He had a second brain surgery at about eight weeks um, and everything was great. He does have a shunt placed in his brain. Um, it's connected by a tube that drains the fluid into his abdomen. Um, on, at nine months, we had an issue um, with it. And so it had to be, uh, one second, it had to be replaced, um, but since then, since nine months, we've um, had no issues. He's been healthy and uh, thriving and doing well. So we're fortunate and we just like to give back to the other families who have similar stories as ours. Carson, you seem to be a kid who has a lot of energy. You're going into grade two. Is that what we figured out? Okay. What, I can't what, grade are what grade are you going into? Tell him. Tell him. Two. Great to, what's your favorite thing to do? I understand you really like to swim. You love swimming? Uh -huh, when I grow up. <laughs> when you're a kid too, you love swimming. Now, Carson, does, does Car Carson have to watch what he does? Is there any limitations to what he can and can't do? He has no limitations, but he was also born, um, sorry, later we found out that he also has autism. Um, so he does have uh, therapy that he has to attend, um, but he is doing so, so good. We are so lucky. Um, and that's why we just really feel humbled to give back to other families who, you know, our shorts were, sta uh, our stays were short, sorry, at Ronald McDonald House, where some families are there for quite a long time. Um, and some families I'm don't lying. go home with their babies, you know? So we're just really blessed and happy to give back to other people. How can people get in touch with you, drop off bottles? They can contact us at 289-968-6421. Yep. Or you can drop them off right to our house, 8 Roxanne Drive, anywhere in the driveway or on the front porch. Um, we're more than um, happy to accept any bottles, alcohol bottles or cans. Thanks a lot for your time. Good luck with the bottle drive. It ends when? It ends on the evening of July 11th. So we will take everything up until July 11th evening. 
Perfect. Chelsea, Carson, I've had a blast talking to the two of you. Lots of fun. Good Thanks. luck, Carson. Take care. And, Thank you. And for Dawson and Lily. Okay, go team, Carson. Go team.